Hi. So in this video we are going to learn about continued proportion. So suppose if we have three quantities where a is to b is equal to b is to c, then these a, b, c are called in continued proportion. And here this is called the first proportional, b is called the second proportional and c is called the third proportional. So this is second and this is third. So this can also be written as a by b is equal to b by c. And here if we cross multiply, we'll get b square is equal to ac. Or we can write as b is equal to square root of ac. So this b is also called as the mean proportional of a and c. So suppose it is told that a, b and c are in continued proportion. That means a is to b is equal to b is to c. And suppose if you are given the ratio of a is to c as 1 by 4 or 1 is to 4. And you are supposed to find the ratio of a is to b. And you are also asked to find the ratio of b is to c. Then what do we do? We know since this is in continued proportion, that means b square is equal to ac. That means b square is equal to 1 into 4 or b is equal to square root of 4 and we will take positive square root only in this case. So b will be equal to 2 and then a is to b can be written as 1 by 2 and b is to c can be written as 2 by 4 or this is also equal to 1 is to 2. So if a, b, c are in continued proportion and a is to c is equal to 1 is to 4, then a is to b is equal to 1 is to 2 and b is to c is also equal to 1 is to 2. So this is what the definition also says. Three numbers or three quantities a, b, c are called in continued proportion if a is to b is equal to b is to c and that is what we have proved over here again. right? So this is what it means and later on we will solve few problems based on continued proportions also. So that's all for this video. Keep watching MathSmart, subscribe to MathSmart and bye bye till then.